Hey, this is Sky. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I tell you, I've learned a lot simply from working out with weights and being at the gym. I got inspired years ago by a buddy of mine to get myself in good physical shape. I personally believe that it's important to be in the best shape that you can be. I think that when people let themselves go with their health, with their physical health, that they have something wrong with their minds also. Because it's connected, mind and body. So when you let your body go, you've also let your mind go. I like to practice discipline in all areas of my life and it's a hard lesson to learn and one of the ways that I learn discipline is through exercise, through being at the gym, through working out with weights. When you want to get in better shape physically, when you want to get bigger, build muscle, you have to put in a lot of work. It never happens overnight. You can't just go once a week. You can't just go twice a week. I learned this through uh, trial and error. I used to just go twice a week. That was pretty much all I could fit into my schedule. That was pretty much all I could handle. And I was going nowhere. When that's all that I did, I had no progress. Maybe a slight bit than, more than just sitting on the couch all the time. But it was very little, very unnoticeable. And I was frustrated with that. And I could have given up and said, well, I tried working out. I guess I just don't have the genetics or the body style or it's just not for me. But I struggled to add a third day and go three times a week. When I added that third day, I started to no notice just a little bit more progress, but not much, just a little bit more. I was getting a little stronger, not much, but just a tiny bit more. People were noticing, not many, but a couple that hung out with me a lot. We're noticing that, wow, you know, yeah, your arms are looking a lot bigger. You've been working out? And I'd proudly say, yeah, I have been. But it wasn't until I started to take the regiment seriously. And I didn't st start to take it seriously until I started to notice just that little micro progress. So I started to study about it online. There's lots and lots of information about how to work out, and I wanted to build muscle, so I started to study about hypertrophy, which is the process of building muscle. And I realized I need to go more. I need to do this more. So I made a plan for myself to work out six days a week, which it gave me the ability to do all my muscle groups twice. And when I started to do that, I started to get major progress. And then when I was doing that for a while, I kind of hit a plateau. And I asked my buddy who knows a lot about working out and who inspired me to begin with, you know, how come I'm not getting into the shape that I want? I'm just not reaching my goals, but I'm, I feel like I'm, I'm getting there. I just, it's taking so long and I'm just not, I, I'm still missing something. And he said, well, how's your diet? What are you eating? And I said, I don't know. I eat food. I guess I never really thought about it. And he was just like, well, of course, you got to eat right. You got to make sure that, you know, this is a lifestyle and you got to do everything that it takes. It's not going to be easy. You really have to push yourself. So I felt like I was already pushing myself a lot. Jesus Christ, six days a week in the gym was a lot for me. I'm like a regular gym rat. So then I started to take my diet more seriously. And that's where I'm at now. And I've been getting in better shape and in better shape. And I can be honest, I'm not going to sit and pose like some muscle man for the video. But uh, I'm 49. I'll be 50 in four months. I'm in the best shape of my life. I'm in better shape now than when I was 18. I'm in better shape now than when I was 25. I'm in better shape now than when I was 35. I'm in the best physical shape of my entire life and I'm almost 50 years old, and that was my goal. I told myself when I entered my 40s, because I felt horribly out of shape, I was getting sick, just my physical health wasn't doing well, my mental health wasn't doing well either. 
And that's been the most important aspect of all of this. The process of becoming stronger physically. When I look back on it as an entirety of the last nine years, I realized that, sure, I've gotten a lot better looking in the mirror. I'm a lot more proud of how I look. My self-confidence, my body confidence is the highest it's ever been. And I used to be horribly ashamed to take my shirt off. I'd go swimming in the pool uh, with a shirt on. I was that kind of guy. I wouldn't go to the beach with my shirt off. I'd be embarrassed to take my shirt off if I was with my girlfriend. I'd have the lights off at night when I took my clothes off. And I'm not going around parading posing in mirrors, taking shirtless selfies on Facebook, but I, for the first time, have the confidence, and it's through the hard work, but the thing that I really learned the most out of all of this, through this process, was the mental strength and the mental discipline involved with goal acquisition, with reaching your goal. And it's not about, so much about the goal, because my goal was to be in the best shape of my life, and that's vague. Because next year at 51, I'll be in better shape than 50 and that'll be the best shape of my life. So what really it is, was the process. I needed to start engaging in a process of daily discipline, of meeting a struggle every day. And that struggle is what made me stronger physically. But it was also making me stronger mentally at the same time. I didn't really notice that so much. It just started to happen. I started to evolve. I started to change. The first person to notice that was really my mother because I don't see her. She lives a thousand miles away and I don't see her much. I only talk to her and she was like, wow, you know, you're really sounding different these days. You know, in a positive way. And I, sometimes other people have to be your mirror and I, realized that through this daily chore that I was dragging myself through of going to the gym was teaching me life lessons about how to do things that you don't want to do, how to meet a struggle in life. And through incremental repetitions, you develop growth, you, you conquer those battles but it also taught me how to push myself further, push myself through the process to reach goals and then push myself past a goal to reach another goal because you don't ever plateau. There always has to be more. If you say, what's your goal in life? To be, have, have a million dollars? A lot of people want to be rich. I'm not going to judge people for their goals, but... So what if I gave you a million dollars right now? A couple months you get bored. Buying stuff and all that would be exciting in the beginning. And then after a while you'd realize that maybe I should read a book or I don't know what to do. Or, you know, shit. So when you plateau, and I realized this through the gym, when, when I plateau, when the weights become easier, what used to be hard becomes easy. It's time to move forward. It's time to put more weight on, to meet more struggle, to go through more adversity, to always be putting more on your plate. We grow through struggle. It, it really helped me because I've reached a point in my life where I have a certain amount of success. I'm no longer in the streets like I used to be. I'm no longer poor like I used to be. I'm no longer living the life that I used to live where there was so much adversity, external adversity. I just have had a mundane kind of go to work, come home, watch TV, you know, that kind of thing, life. So with the exercise, adding that, this no pain, no gain mentality, turning myself into a, a savage warrior. It really helped me grow as a person. It really helped me learn how to be more successful. 
It's kind of like a self-induced struggle. Sometimes we have to add struggle because it may not always be there. And once you get complacent, once you lose that, that struggle in your life, you lose your eye of the tiger. You lose a lot of your, your warrior mentality. A warrior who never goes through a battle, ever, becomes fat and lazy. It's important to keep training. And that training, that discipline, is how we do everything. How you go through your routine at the gym is how you become successful in life. It's how you become more mentally strong. We don't run from our problems. We meet them. We greet them. We conquer them. We figure out ways to either work around them or to make them disappear altogether. I don't enjoy having problems mentally, psychological problems. I've had problems my whole life. You name it, anger issues, I could just give you the whole list. I used to run from that shit, hide from it. And now I've gone through my list and have been conquering each one of them. I almost get this kind of excitement like a warrior gets before a battle. When I find a new issue that I have. It's not that I want to have problems. I want to be better. I want to better myself. This has become my life's goal. The meaning of my life. But I don't ask anymore and pray for a happy, easy life. I just try to train myself. Always training. Constantly be teaching myself these lessons that we grow through struggle to meet these battles, to never be afraid to fight. Fight for my sanity. Fight for my mental strength. Fight for my physical health. That's the kind of battle I love. That to me is true happiness. The process is where it's at. If I would have had a goal of just being in a certain physical shape and then I was going to stop, I'll get there and then that's it. Eventually you just turn soft again because if you're not moving forward, you're slipping backwards. And I have no uh, dreams of being a professional bodybuilder or going on stage or doing any of that kind of stuff. But I'll always be able to be in a better physical shape than I am right now. And I look forward for next year, this year ahead of me, to be able to train, to be able to go through that struggle. I can always be better mentally than I am right now. And I feel like I'm on top of my game a lot right now. That's why I make a lot of these videos. I feel like when you get to a certain point of your mental strength, that it's kind of a duty to give back to others, to people that may need help. But I'm not perfect. Far from it. And I look forward to this next year of being able to conquer some more of my demons. I'll always be able to find more work to do. The way that you reach greatness is through putting in work. Thanks for watching.